to the change of charter ceremony for power project projection enablers, P2E, where Lieutenant Colonel Howard R. Donaldson will relinquish command as the product manager to Mr. Thomas J. Dunaway. We thank everyone for taking time out of their busy schedules for today's ceremony. The official party for today's change of charter is Colonel Justin Schell, the project manager for Defense, Communication, and Army Transmission Systems, also known as PMDCATS. Please stand for the playing of the national anthem and the invocation. The invocation will be given by Chaplain Mary O'Malley. the scenes, ensuring our information networks flow, so that no matter where we as a military are in the world, we are able to accomplish our mission. We are especially thankful today for Lieutenant Colonel Howard Donaldson and his leadership over this time, particularly during uncertainty when our networks and connection was most vital. Bless him and his family as he moves on to a new chapter in his life. For the new leadership team, and in particular, Mr. Thomas Dunaway, we ask for your wisdom, strength, and energy to go the distance in this important task. May he and all of the power projection enablers be ever aware of your provision for every opportunity to serve and every blessing you bestow. We are ready now and grateful always. Amen. You may be seated. Thank you, Chaplain O'Malley. At this time, we would like to acknowledge our distinguished guests joining us virtually today. We would like to welcome all special guests, including our senior executive leadership from Program Executive Office Enterprise Information Systems. We would also like to recognize the following senior leadership. Mr. John Howe, Acting Deputy Program Executive Officer, Program Executive Office Enterprise Information Systems. Ms. Terry Watson with Headquarters Department of the Army, Deputy Chief of Staff, G1. Retired SES, Mr. Doug Wiltsey, the former PEO EIS. We also recognize Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson's family consisting of his loving wife of 25 years, LaRonda, and their 15-year-old daughter, Alicia, who are joining us virtually. And their 17-year-old son, Isaiah, who is able to attend today's ceremony in person. We would also like to welcome all other members of the Donaldson's family and friends that are joining us today virtually. 
We recognize Mr. Dunaway's family consisting of his loving wife of 17 years, Kristen, their eight-year-old daughter, Vivian, their seven-year-old son, Charles, their two-year-old son, Graham. We recognize Mr. Dunaway's father-in-law and mother-in-law, Captain, retired Wayne Chesley and Mrs. Charlene Chesley, both in attendance today. We also welcome all of Mr. Dunaway's family and friends that are joining us virtually today. We recognize Mr. Hector Acosta, the Deputy to Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson and the P2E family. Again, we thank you all for being here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the presentation of flowers and gifts, Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson will now present a gift to his son. Can you guys hear me? Yes, sir. Well, I think you can. Whoa. Okay. Is that better? All right. Well, I'll tell you, sometimes you just can't prepare for Murphy, can you? Murphy gets all up in your business. Anyway, uh, I got something for my son here. Uh, he was the only one of the Howard, of the Donaldson family that was showed up. <laughs> so I got to get him something. So, no, I appreciate it. My, uh, my wife and my daughter are headed to Florida uh, for a volleyball tournament. So they're on the plane, uh, or maybe they're on the tarmac looking at this, so we'll see. So here's a wallet um, I want to give to my son, but it has a pretty cool inscription in here, um, so I'll read it. It says, this thing is really loud. To my son, I want you to believe deep in your heart that you're capable of achieving anything you put your mind to, that you will never lose, you will either win or learn. Just go forth and aim for the skies. I can't promise to be here for the rest of your life, but I can promise to love you for the rest of mine. Love, Dad. There's no money in there. <laughs> For her continued devotion and dedication to him as he begins to lead the soldiers, civilians, and families of P2E, the presentation of a bouquet of roses to an incoming leader's spouse has long been an Army tradition. The roses with proper care and nurturing can grow wherever the leader is assigned. The petal symbolizes beauty and tenderness, while the stem signifies strength, endurance, and support, all characteristics of a leader's spouse. Yellow is the traditional color of welcome, and the newness of the buds represent the anticipation of wonderful things to come. Mr. Dunaway is also presenting PMD Cat's challenge coins to his children. Ladies and gentlemen, the history of P2E. Power Projection Enablers History exemplifies an organization that is resilient, flexible, adaptable, and capable of accomplishing any mission it is given. Since inception in April of 2009 as Product Management PDM Office Area Processing Centers, APC, the organization was first led by Lieutenant Colonel Michael Devine. Since then, this dedicated professional and adapted team has successfully executed increasingly complex tasks in support of the United States Army. In January of 2011, Defense Communication Systems Southwest Asia was transferred to Product Manager APC. With the mission to continue the support for delivering communications, capabilities and in modernizing infrastructure and information technology for soldiers in the Southwest Asia area of responsibility. On 26 April 2011, Product Manager APC was renamed Product Manager Power Projection Enablers, P2E, to reflect the expanded support mission of the organization. Since then, P2E's mission has shifted from overseeing the APC and Southwest Asia mission 
to modernizing infrastructure and information technology for OCONUS stakeholders worldwide. In October 2012, Assistant Product Manager Europe was transferred to PDM P2E in an effort to unite the similar but geographically dispersed missions under the same product office. Delivering communications capabilities and modernizing infrastructure and information technology for soldiers in Europe AOR. In June 2013, P2E absorbed the Korea Transformation Product Directorate, delivering communication capabilities to the soldiers in the Pacific area of responsibility. These realignments combine responsibility for all command, control, communications, computers, and intelligent requirements, OCONUS under one product office. The P2E team will continue its effort of modernizing the IT infrastructure in support of OCONUS combatant commands and the United States Army in the years to come and will succeed no matter what the task. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the presentation awards and reading of the award citations. Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson will now present Mr. Dunaway with the Civilian Service Combination Medal. Attention orders. The Secretary of the Army has awarded the Army Civilian Service Combination Medal to Mr. Thomas J. Dunaway for exceptional service as Project Support Officer for Power Projection Enablers Product Office from July 2018 to January 2021. Mr. Dunaway displays the highest level of professionalism and dedication to our mission and soldiers that we support. He provided critical information, technology capability, and successfully managed 45 projects valued at $158 million across the European and African command areas of responsibility. Mr. Dunaway's leadership, competence, tenacity, and professionalism enabled information dominance across all phases of joint and coalition operation. His contributions are in keeping with the highest traditions of government service and reflects great credit upon himself, the Power Projection Enablers Product Office, the Program Executive Office Enterprise Information Systems, and the United States Army. Signed, Mr. Ross R. Guckert, Program Executive Officer. Colonel Schell will now present Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson with the Meritorious Service Medal. Attention orders. The awarding of the Army's Meritorious Service Medal to Lieutenant Colonel Howard R. Donaldson for superior meritorious service while serving as the Product Manager for Power Projection Enablers from June 26, 2018 through 25 June 2021. Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson led a combined team of over 150 military government civilians, and contractor personnel as they executed over 80 projects valued at over $700 million to support three combatant commands by providing information technology, infrastructure, and command control, communication, computers, and intelligence capabilities critical for the Army's network modernization objectives. His leadership, competence, persistence, and character directly contribute to the enabling of information dominance across all phases of joint and coalition operations and reflects great credit upon himself, the project manager, defense communication and army transmission systems, program executive office enterprise information systems, and the United States Army. Signed, Mr. Ross R. Guckert, program executive officer. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. Colonel Schell will now present the Signal Corps Bronze Order of Mercury to Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson. To all signaliers, know ye that Lieutenant Colonel Howard R. Donaldson is among those select individuals who have demonstrated the high standards of integrity, moral character, professional competence, and selflessness 
and contribute significantly to the promotion of the United States Army Signal Regiment, and therefore awarded the Bronze Order of Mercury, signed by Brigadier General Albert J. Meyer, First Chief Signal Officer, and Lieutenant General Retired Mark S. Bowman, President, Signal Corps Regimental Association. <laughs> Additionally, Colonel Shell will now present the Signal Corps Bronze Wahachi to Mr. Mrs. Donaldson. Accepting the Best award honor. on behalf of Mrs. Donaldson is their son, Mr. Isaiah Donaldson. To all signal leaders, know ye that Mrs. LaRonda Donaldson is among those select individuals who have demonstrated the highest standards of integrity, moral character, and selflessness, and contributed significantly to the efficient and seamless operations on the home front, ensuring her husband's continued professional dedication to the United States Army Signal Regiment. And she is therefore awarded the Bronze Order of Hachi, signed by Brigadier General Albert J. Meyer, First Chief Signal Officer and Lieutenant General, retired Mark S. Bowman, President, Signal Corps Regiment, Regimental Association. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the change of charter ceremony. The change of charter ceremony, similar to a change of command ceremony, is a military tradition. While personnel, equipment, and even the mission changes, the duties and responsibilities of an incoming commander remains the same, as do the duties and responsibility of a product manager. Just as it has done so many times in the past, today's change of charter ceremony marks the turning of a new page in P2E's history book. In this event, we take a moment to look back proudly at our leaders, our organization, and ourselves, and we look forward to what is yet to come. In the Product Management Office, the charter carries the same symbolic functions as the colors in a military unit. It represents the same responsibilities for the leadership and welfare of the people of the organization. At this time, Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson, the outgoing product manager hands the charter to Colonel Shell, signifying the return of the responsibility entrusted when he assumed command. Colonel Shell then hands the charter to Mr. Dunaway, thus demonstrating his confidence in his ability to handle the responsibility. By accepting the charter, Mr. Dunaway assumes the responsibility for leadership and management as a product manager. Attention to orders. By authority of the Army Acquisition Executive and by the designation of the undersigned as the Program Executive Officer for Enterprise Information Systems, I hereby charter Mr. Thomas Day Dunaway as the product manager for Power Production Enablers in accordance with the Army Acquisition Management Process as product manager for this program, you will perform as a total life cycle systems manager, reporting to the project manager for defense communication and Army transmission systems. You are hereby delegated the full line authority of the project manager for defense communication and Army transmission systems for the centralized management of your assigned program. You will be provided with timely decisions by senior leadership and are expected to be candid and forthcoming without fear or personal consequences. This charter remains in effect until terminated or suspended. Signed, Ross R. Guckert, Program Executive Officer, Enterprise Information Systems. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Colonel Justin Shell, Project Manager, DCATS. What a bittersweet day. It's an exciting day for DCATS. It's an exciting day for the P2E program. It's a sad day in that we're saying goodbye to Lieutenant Colonel Howard Donaldson. You've done an exceptional job over the past three years of leading this team. But 
like the old army mantra goes, change is the only constant. And today's change of charter is a military tradition that we've seen time and time again. And the change is, is that we're, we're transitioning to, from exceptional leadership to exceptional leadership in Mr. Tom Dunaway as the newest member of the DCATS leadership team and the, and the PM of P2E. One thing that doesn't change is the exceptional way that these teams execute these ceremonies. And so I'd like to say a, a heartfelt thanks to the P2E ops team, uh, to Chaplain O'Malley, to Mark, to the PEO STRATCOM team. Thanks for always making these exceptional high-class events. We know that COVID, as we're getting back to normal, some of these things will, will persist, hopefully, uh, us being able to project these to a large audience. But you guys have adapted exceptionally well. And thanks for putting on a real high first-class event. I'd like to welcome all of our senior leaders, Mr. Wiltsey, Colonel Costas, former PM DCATS, and any other senior leaders that are online uh, as part of the ceremony today. Thanks for participating in this awesome event. So what's in a name? Power Projection Enablers, P2E. Who are you and what do you do? According to your website, which I Googled, I'm going to quote, you deliver full-spectrum network information and infrastructure modernization to soldiers' OCONUS to enable information dominance and coalition operations. But what does that really mean? What does that mean? If you think about the vernacular of the day as we pivot towards near-peer competition, that's competing against China and competing against Russia, what that means is you are enabling a move expeditionary towards multi-domain operations. You are the office that enabled a pivot towards the Pacific. You are the office that deterred in Europe. And you are the office that allowed us to continue legacy operations in SWA to this very day. And so for that, I thank you. And uh, you have done a her Herculean effort of uh, posturing our nation for maintaining operations and meeting a future need. Now, over the last three years, you've been led by Lieutenant Colonel Howard Donaldson. Now, Howie and I go way back. We go back about a decade to our Huntsville Acquisition Schools. There, we ate a lot of ribs. It was free chow. Now, I'm an armor officer, and you're an infantry officer, but we have a lot in common. We both shot tank gunnery, one in Abrams' main battle tank. Me as an actual armor officer, but him in PM Abrams. And so I don't know if you're allowed to do this. We'll have to ask the Navy captain in the room, but he gave himself a call sign after that gunnery. What, what was the call sign again? Master Blaster. Master Blaster. He gave himself the call sign Master Blaster, I think because it was an alliteration or he thought it was cool. But I'm not sure if he knew exactly what the Master Blaster did. Master Blaster is a little piece on the tank that when you have a tank round in there and the whole tank is disabled and nothing else works that that's the one thing that will always work no matter what. Did you know that? Yes, I did. So I don't know if that's ironic or if that's symbolism or what, but you are our master blaster, and we appreciate you for that. Now, that's a true story. Stories only have to be 10% true in an, army, uh, in an Army ceremony, right? We also played a lot of basketball in Huntsville, uh, Howard and myself. He set up a pickup game between uh, uh, us uh, old schools and a bunch of college kids. And so you know, we set it up, we met on one Saturday morning, and all these like semi-pro college kids showed up, and it was a bunch of old, crusty ar uh, army officers in acquisition school. And so, of course, the college kids were down a man, we brought six, and who volunteered to go over to the other team? It was uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Howard Donaldson. And so there we are, we might not be the fittest, we might not be the fastest, or have the most endurance. Uh, but he sacrificed himself to go over and play with a bunch of 19 to 20-year-olds, and he coached them back from a 2-0 loss, and he ended up beating us. He coached them, ended up beating us 3-2 uh, in that Saturday afternoon. And I'm not sure that I moved for a week after that. But that was the first time that I saw how he coached a successful team. But it definitely hasn't been the last. Uh, he's coached the P2E team exceptionally over the past three years. Uh, but I'm glad I'm on the winning end of his successful co coaching operation this, this time. Uh, so what you've coached the team to do, you've coached them, uh, these team of 150 dedicated patriots to modernize the infrastructure between three different theaters. 
$700 million worth of contracts, 80 different projects. That's pretty impressive, but what's most impressive is your adroit ability to manage all the disparate stakeholders and to manage it with great aplomb to get to an end state and deliver to our soldiers. And I also heard you brought the internet to Poland. Is that true? It's coming. All right. <laughs> You're posturing our army uh, not only for the current fight, but for the next fight, but you couldn't have done it without the home fires that stayed burning back here in Virginia. And so I'd like to recognize your family. Even though LaRonda couldn't be here, we definitely need to recognize her uh, because of her dedicated service to the nation through you. Y'all married in 1995. You attended the same middle school. You played varsity basketball in the same school. So there's no doubt that she knows all of the Donaldson secrets. She is the Donaldson Rock. And for that, we have to recognize her and we recognize her with the Wahatchee Award that I'm sure you'll give her as soon as you see her. And hopefully she'll wear it around the house proudly on a regular basis. <laughs> She's done everything from FRGs to the Fisher House to volunteering at Isaiah's and Alicia's extracurricular, extracurricular activities. And it's sad she couldn't be here today, but that dedication is an example of where she is right now and that she's given back to her family uh, through a volleyball trip down to Florida. We miss her, um, but she's an integral part of the, of the DCATS and P2E family. Speaking of, I would like to recognize Isaiah and Alicia. We welcome you. You're a junior at Forest Park High School. Thanks for being here with us. I understand you're a Life Scout. That's a pretty impressive feat and accomplishment in and of itself. Only 2% of scouts make it to the rank of Eagle Scout. And I would just implore you from personal experience, don't be distracted by fumes on the way to your goal. So those fumes are exhaust fumes and perfumes. And so as long as you keep your eye on the goal, become one of the 2%, you have a year left, right? Get all your stuff done in a year. You will not regret it, and it'll be a... a It'll be a badge of honor you get to carry your whole life. <clears throat> Alicia, 15 years old and a sophomore at the same high school. I bet that's interesting to see how that's going, but I know that you both excel. Uh, we're sorry she couldn't be here, and I bet uh, on the volleyball court she would give her mom and dad a run for her money. I'd like to see that one. Uh, thank you both for your service to your dad, and thank you for uh, service to your family. It means a lot to us. We'd also like to acknowledge Howard's uh, extended family, uh, his father, Jonathan Franks, thank him for his service. He's a retired first sergeant in the Air Force, so undoubtedly that's where you get your discipline and your work ethic. We'd also like to recognize your brothers, uncles, father-in-law, who all served as well, some in Vietnam. You come from a long legacy of military service, and we thank them on behalf of a proud P2E family and a nation. While we say farewell to Howard, uh, we welcome a familiar DCAT's face to a new position of leadership. Tom... Welcome to the team. You come to us from the European, as the European Project Officer, uh, and I understand that you are actually the one who personally ran all the cable to Poland to connect them to the internet. <laughs> so we expect no loss of productivity as you assume this role. Tom also comes from a long line of military service, service members. Your father, Cecil, is an Army veteran. Cecil, thank you for attending virtually. It means a lot. Your grandfather served in World War II, and your great-great-grandfather is a Civil War veteran from Ohio. Your service to the nation is truly a family affair, and we thank you and all for your contributions. Now, here in the room with us is your father and mother-in-law. Thank you for attending with us in person, Captain Wayne Chesley and Mrs. Charlene Chesley. Uh, she's probably attending to the little one. Thank you for your service, ma'am. I'm glad you could attend with us, and uh, thank you very much. Most importantly, Tom's wife of 17 years, Kristen, thank you for coming. I know you wouldn't miss it. Vivian 8, Charles 7, and Graham in time out, here to watch Dad take command. Now, Kristen, I understand you all met in an Army-Navy game. So all I'll say is I hope, given your affiliation, you weren't on the wrong side. But if you were, you have three years of penance to make up for that. Either way, welcome to the team. We're glad you're part of our family now. Thanks for being here. It's a critical job you're taking, and, uh, and, but we have some connectivity that goes back even farther than Howard and, and me. Do you know where that is? Yep, so 
The Shells and the Dunaways linked up in 1996 uh, when my brother and Tom met in college. And so when, uh, when they both joined the Army, you're going to hear a common thread here, and it's not baldness, and it's not lo- a legacy of veterans. It's actually basketball. So my brother, Brandon, uh, he's a basketball player also, but he's like me. He's, uh, he's uh, vertically challenged, and uh, my brother, was a, he tried out for a basketball team and made the team as a practice squad scrub. And how do you become a practice squad scrub? Uh, much like me playing against Howie's team of young semi-pros, uh, you, you make the team by craftiness, a no-quit attitude, and some professional strength fouls. And so that's how shells play any sport, to include that of acquisition, which is a team contact sport as well. Now, Tom made the team not for those reasons, but because he was good at basketball. Shells don't do that. So when I told my brother about today, he told me of a story where he and Tom first met. My brother, Brandon, was uh, playing defense in the paint. Tom got the ball at the top of the key, took one dribble and a step, skied over Brandon, and tried to tomahawk dunk on him. And my brother, Brandon, uh, acknowledging that this was going to be a humiliating experience, did did what any good scrub basketball player would do. Do you remember? I think he punched him in the stomach. (laughs) He just punched him in the stomach. He was not going to let him dunk over him that day. And so, Tom, obviously, is a better basketball player uh, than my brother is proud because my brother ran away from Tom as fast as he could (laughs) as Tom chased him to try and pummel him, as he should have. Tom is obviously tougher than my brother is brave, but that's how the Shells and the Dunaways bonded in the very first time, and I'm glad we can get the band back together again for for this awesome team. So, I won't be mad about you dunking in my presence, Actually, I see it as my job as to bend down, get on all fours, so you can jump off of my back to score as many points as you can, because uh, that's my job is to make you and the P2E team successful, and I'm glad and happy to do that. We welcome you to the team. We're exci- I'm, I'm excited to work with you, and to quote our alma mater, uh, you are, I, ho- I am glad to see you continue your inspired career of professional ex- excellence and service to the nation. Thank you both for making the, us the Army's go-to office for enterprise modernization excellence. You enable cyber and information dominance. You're awesome, and I'm glad to work with you. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson, outgoing product manager, P2E. Okay, that's a little bit better sounds, as far as sounds going. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep my swag on, so nice. I already appreciate that. I got, I'm like, I got like three now, sir. I don't know if I, I think I got more than you now. <laughs> it's, it's a competitive infantry thing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you all, distinguished guests, family, and friends for attending this very special day. Um, thank you to the personnel like uh, Justin and Mark Broughton and uh, Eduardo and Bryce for help putting the ceremony together. You guys did a tremendous job, and I really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for Chaplain O'Malley for the wonderful invocation, um, and good luck to you as you continue your career here at Fort Belvoir. Uh, thank you, Colonel Shell for making me sound like a rock star. (laughs) I appreciate that. But most of all, for being my friend. We did uh, develop a pretty good bond at Huntsville, or uh, Hunts Vegas is what I like to call it. Uh, So we had some good times there. I I certainly wish I could stick around uh, to be under your command. I think you're going to do a great job here. Wow. I have so much to say and so little time to say it. And it's Friday. I ain't got no job <laughs> for at least two weeks. <laughs> uh, what movie is that? Anybody? Who said it? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. It's Friday. There you go. I, we do that in my family. I'm sorry. We we always trying to do movies and see who can figure it out. And you missed it, so you need to do push-ups. <laughs> All right. 
All right, so I got a couple of farewell quotes that I think is definitely fitting um, for this ceremony. I'll, I'll read those. Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. If you, if you are brave enough to say goodbye, life will reward you with a new hello. And lastly, it is so hard to leave until you leave. And then it's the easiest thing in the world. I like that one. <laughs> that, one's for, that one's for me. Okay. All right, so let's look, talk a little bit about performance and events in terms of P2E, um, an enormous organization. But what P2E is known the most is, is being a family. And, and you don't have to spend but a little time with us before you can t you know that. It doesn't matter if you're here at Belvoir, you're in Europe, Pacific or Southwest Asia. I remember when we used to have events like chili cook-offs, Thanksgivings and Christmas potlucks, cubicle decorating contests, <laughs> Halloween costume, costume contests, and uh, I can tell you we, we spent a lot of time just being together, and, and that's what, what family is all about. Um, I hope at some point we get back to that. We definitely try to do it in the COVID environment, but it's just not the same. Um, but at, and also, and I know Colonel Costa can attest to this, when you go on the road and you visit one of the regions, um, or one of the three regions, they treat you like family. They put the proverbial, proverbial arm around your shoulder and make you a part of the team. I think John experienced that as well, and I appreciate your support, and, uh, John, as well as you, sir providing that top cover. And you two in the back, Eric, trying to be uh, kind of hiding out over there. But that's what happens. They, when you come, they, they, they put their arm around you and they make you part of the team. And it doesn't matter what we're doing, they, they treat you like a family member. And so I know that's going to be maintained under you, Tom. Um, I won't miss events like theater sync reviews. <laughs> <laughs> Or theater validation requirements boards, TRVBs and TSRs. Tom's very familiar with those, those acronyms. Uh, but I will miss you know, coming together to ensure we fill capability gaps by modernizing the IT infrastructure, the Army's network. I will miss that. I will miss the people. That's the most important thing. P2 is not only a great family to be a part of, it is also a high-performing team able to meet and exceed the Office of Secretary of Defense op funding obligation goals for three straight, year, straight years, while managing, like Colonel uh, Shell mentioned, over 80 projects across three regions outside the continental United States. That's huge. That's a big deal. And it's a lot of work. This is important because if you don't meet goal, you'll become, well, what Colonel Cost used to always say, other people's money. <laughs> not a good thing, which means not putting capability in the warfighter's hand. And, and, and so we did a good job of making sure that, that didn't happen. <clears throat> On to my new life. Well, imagine you had a boss that was a ball of energy, very demanding, passionate, and who pushed you to your limits when he had, well, uh, when you had left, or, and when he had left the organization, you thought, now, I can catch my breath, but after you catch your breath, you went, uh, you went back to, uh, to breathing. Now, that's, now either I'm sadistic <laughs> or mildly insane, because <laughs> I'm going back to work for my boss, Colonel Costas, at the National Reconnaissance Offices. Um, and so for me, um, he's the type of, a uh, leader that, that, uh, that I can, that matches well with me. Um, I understand where he's coming from. He's an infantry officer, he's a ranger, um, and so we kind of grew up with that same type of creed and uh, warrior ethos, and I know what to expect from him. And I know he's gonna push me to my limits, but he's not gonna, he's not gonna break me. He's gonna make sure that he stretches me and makes me sure to become a, uh, become a better officer. So, sir, I'm glad you're here today, and I really appreciate all that. Um, and I look forward to working with you again uh, after I get some leave. 
Okay, you remember you said that? <laughs> so, you know, acknowledgments. I want, before I pass the mic to, to, to Tom, I want to thank some folks. Um, you have to make sure you thank your wife and kids first. Because <laughs> if you don't, you can forget them. And you're not unintentionally, I, I'm not going to put anybody on blast. But, <laughs> but I want to thank my wife, uh, LaRonda. She has been my rock for 25 years and, and, and then some. Um, she's a wonderful woman. Um, friend and uh, mother to, to our two kids. I uh, also want to thank my, my son Isaiah, the only person that showed up. <laughs> but uh, he's a uh, tall young man. He's getting taller than me. Uh, I'm happy to see him grow up, and I hope he does get to that Eagle Scout. But I think those fumes has already hit him, sir. I, I've always th I've talked to that same story. I said car fumes and perfumes. So we can see if we can get them across that line um, to that eagle. Uh, my daughter, Alicia, uh, who's an amazing athlete uh, playing um, club volleyball, and I hope she does well down in that tournament uh, in Orlando. And I hope they have a, lo a lot of fun as well. Uh, my mom and, and dad, I, I did screw up, and I left my, uh, my mom off the program. But I, I told Colonel Shell the reason that happened is because she's technology challenged. And so even if I passed all the information to her, she wouldn't be able to log in and see it. So she ain't going to see this until somebody goes and takes to the house and show her the tape. If that's, then that's be out of it. So I'm good. <laughs> uh, and my dad's probably, he's not too far from that. He has a computer science degree. But anyway, uh, I also would like to thank my deputy, Hector Costas, my theater directors, and the teams that led, uh, that they, that they led to include government, matrix, and contractors. Tim Green, theater director, project officer, Kerry Ferguson, and Scott Irvin. Um, obviously, Tom was part of that as well, and Kerry took his place. My Belvoir team leads like Cheryl Pollen, John Anisette, Cassie, ba uh, Bass excuse me, Cassie Robinette, Tanya Johnson, Santos Ramirez, Eduardo Edwards, Julie Weathers, Mark Broton, who's done a great job as an MC. I appreciate you stepping in, Mark. You have a great voice. And uh, you're doing a great job, so thank you. And you're going to continue to do a great job with P2E. And um, Roland Taylor and the, and the Mission First team. My fellow uh, product managers, Victor Hernandez, Lieutenant Colonel Scott Davis, EJ uh, Wazakowski, and uh, Wayne Sock. Uh, we developed a pretty good bond uh, during my three years, and so I really appreciate working there. We could go and talk to each other, um, vent, um, and share ideas, and, and that's, that was great. I really appreciate that. Um, PMD Cats, Colonel Costas, Eric Sherwood, Nancy Richardson, Bob Carroll, Darius White, Rhonda Seals, Frank and Liesel, uh, they're a great team. They keep the bosses on track. A new addition, Patrick Holleran, and I don't know if she's here or not, but I definitely want to make sure I get to see her later. It's Carissa. Seastrom, Morris, uh, Michelle Hoskins, Don Johnson, Gene Hobbs, and many others. At the PO, I'd like to thank uh, Ms. Smith. I know she's not here, but uh, I remember doing my first um, APR with her, and I had just gotten to the position in like two weeks, and we're doing the APR. It's going pretty good. And then she hits me with a real tough question, and then you know I couldn't answer it. And then she started going to hammer in, and I was like, well, I've only been on the job for two weeks. God, really? <laughs> so she, she eased up a little bit over me after that, but, but it, she was an awesome support. Uh, Mr. Gucker, uh, Mr. Burke, and uh, John Howe, definitely appreciate all your, your, your support and top cover. Dragging, dragging you around to all the different regions um, over the holidays. It was great. Uh, Lawrence Silas, uh, Silas and many others. Best of uh, luck to you, Tom. And uh, his wife, Kristen, I remember we having lunch when we were over there in Wiesbaden. And so I can't tell you it's going to be an easy job, but I can tell you it's going to be a fulfilling job. And Tom is the right person. I know you guys are going to support him well. Um, with your daughter, Vivian, sons, Charles, and, 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 and Graham. How's he doing back there, Mom? Doing good? Okay. <laughs> Tom, you, you're going to be a great uh, product manager uh, because you're the, you, you have the right temperament. Um, the acquisition knowledge, or as Colonel Shell likes to say, acquisition acumen, um, leadership ability, management skills, and to, to excel. 
I knew that from the start when uh, you, as a theater director, um, anyone could see that you were going to be an up and coming star. And so um, it was, it's funny because I remember we were talking, it was like, hey, I'm going to go ahead and apply for the CSL board. And I was like, oh man, I, I, good, luck for, good luck to you and everything. I said, wouldn't it be funny if you end up coming back as the product manager for P2E? Remember that? And it, and it happened. Who, who, I, I don't know how that happens. I never seen anything like that, but, but it did. Yeah. So, um, but you, you're going to do great. Um, and to the DCATs and P2 family, I'm going to always stay hustling. That was my theme music whenever we had uh, all hands, and so I'll continue to do that. And uh, I hope you would do the same. P2 e for life. Ladies and gentlemen, product manager P2E, Mr. Thomas J. Dunaway. So um, I'm not sure how Brittany does this for two hours in a concert. I, I'm going to be up here in five minutes. I'm standing between uh, us and the, uh, the cake, so I, I won't take too much of your time. But um, I have newfound respect for Brittany Spears. Um, i got to tell you, sir, um, because I know Coach Pike's listening and, and he always holds me accountable. Your story, your version of that story is a lot better than mine. Because I, I don't remember tomahawking too many dunks in my, in my career, maybe off a trampoline. but um, So I, I, maybe we can expand on that by the time I'm out of here in 360 windmill or something. Um, anyway, first I want to thank uh, everyone for attending the ceremony. Obviously, I would have loved for this to be everybody in person, but you know, COVID had other plans for that. Um, but thankful that, that we could have as many folks as we do. Uh, I want to recognize our distinguished guest, Mr. Wilty. Um, funny story about him, just with the national anthem thing. I remember I was his EXO back in 2012 time frame, and we were sitting in about to join a, a, a big-time meeting with a bunch of three stars and four stars at the Pentagon. We're sitting in his executive conference room, and his, uh, the video goes out. And we can't get it to work. And by we, I mean, I don't mean me. I mean our, our CIO folks. And so everyone's joining us virtually. He has to now go to the Pentagon. But before he leaves, he says, I am the Army's Enterprise Information Systems PEO. And I'm going to be the one that has to go there in person because I can't get our IT to work. So it just reminded me of that. It's, that's, that's Murphy working, right? Um, but, sir, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. I know... There's some uh, Mr. Howe, uh, acting deputy PEO. Appreciate you coming, sir. Uh, I know Miss Watson's on the line listening, so um, appreciate her attending. I want to recognize my wife, Kristen. Uh, she's definitely the uh, the household six, household six, taking care of all of us, keeps us going forward. I want to uh, recognize Vivian, Charles, and Graham in the back room there. Thanks for coming. Um, my parents, brothers, and sisters, all uh, uh, watching in Ohio. Uh, the entire P2E team, who's, who's really across the globe, family, friends, mentors, colleagues, a lot of you in this room, uh, I appreciate you all coming, join us for today. Uh, I want to I wanna recognize Mr. Garcia, Mr. Justin Garcia, Mr. Mr. Edwards, back in the back there, uh, Bryce Cumbie, uh, Mr. Broughton, uh, the PEO, PAO team, everybody that, that pulled this together, excellent job, really appreciate all the hard work. I know we've been working on this for a good six months now, so thanks to everyone. Uh, you know, admittedly, it's, it's surreal that I'm here, you know, especially, you know, as a civilian. You can see I'm, I'm, I'm amongst some, some great Army officers, so I don't take that for granted. It, it, to get selected for command is uh, probably, you know, growing up, you, you want to be a professional athlete or whatever, but, but once you kind of figure out where you want to go and you join the Army, commanding is uh, getting selected for command. There's no really greater honor. And so uh, honored and humbled to have that opportunity. Um, I'll tell you that, that as a cadet at West Point, I would, I would you know, walk the grounds, go into class, um, just think about the incredible list of graduates that include Ulysses S. Grant, uh, Henry O. Flipper, Douglas MacArthur, uh, George Patton, Dwight Eisenhower, Maxwell D. Taylor, Norman Schwarzkopf, Mike Krzyzewski. Um, you think about those and you're like, how, how am I going to stack? I'm a 2.0 guy, 2.0 guy from Ohio, right? Just trying to, trying to graduate. Not by, I wasn't a 2.0 guy by, because I wanted to be a, you know, a deadbeat is just, that's, that's the way it was. I'm academically challenged. So 
how am I going to stack up to all these, these great leaders? And really the answer to that is those guys uh, and gals all built great teams. They all had great teams. I'm not saying we're going to storm the beaches of Normandy or um, take the hill, but uh, commanding is commanding, right? And building great teams is building great teams. And so um, I've been a part of a lot of outstanding teams, had a lot of great leaders, mentors, coaches that have, that have helped me get to where I am today. Uh, and so I just want to thank you all for that. So as I prepare to lead the P2E team, I want to ensure that each member of, of our workforce understands my leadership philosophy. Now, specifically, I will lead from the front, meaning I'm not going to ask you to dig a foxhole unless I'm willing to do it myself. Uh, I'm going to lead with empathy. I'm going to listen. I want to learn from you. I want to empower our folks. It's we, not I. Um, and I want to leave a positive legacy, right? Uh, meaning I want to develop our future leaders, like Colonel Costas, you know, former PM, has uh, now two um, board select PM, uh, 505 PMs in the room. And so I appreciate uh, your leadership and guidance as, the, as a PM and definitely wouldn't be standing here without you. Uh, so collectively, we're going to work hard. Uh, we're going to deliver critical capabilities to our stakeholders. We're going to take great pride in our organization and in our mission. And we're going to have as much fun as possible along the way. So again, I want to thank uh, coaches, mentors, teams that have helped shape me and get me where I am today. I want to thank you all for joining us uh, in the room today. And as always, beat Navy. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing of the Army song. A copy of the words to the Army song are on the back of the program. This concludes the ceremony. Thank you for attending today's change of charter and have a great rest of your day. Mr. Dunaway and family will receive greetings at the front of the room. Lieutenant Colonel Donaldson will receive well wishers near the entrance of applied cyber technology. Please help yourself to some of the refreshments on the side over here as you exit. Thank you for your attendance. <laughs>